G'day guys. Well, I've got some longer camping trips planned for this year, so I've made an addition to my camping gear setup, but this one's attached to the back of my patrol. Let's go and check it out. Well, here it is. This is my 2005 model Ultimate Camera Trailer. It's all Australian made, full fiberglass body and very lightweight. Uh, just like all the mods that I've done with my patrol over the years, uh, weight has been a high priority when selecting a camera trail on this one. When it's empty, weighs in about 850 kilos. So I'll give you a walk around the outside and then I'll talk you through when this is fully set up. So just in the front here, this is where the main storage compartment is in the front here. Great, easy access, another one of those flip up doors on this other side around there so you can get in. I've uh, got heaps of storage space inside in there and just because I've got all that extra space in there does not mean I fill it to the top full of stuff I don't need. Still keep my camping set up very simple and just take what I need and that is it in there. Uh, under here, that's just my 240 plug, if you're ever going to plug it into 240. Uh, a little compartment here on the side that's just got my battery and all that sort of stuff in there, little inverter. Um, and that just plugs, runs the whole camper when I'm off grid and plenty of opportunities where I will be certainly off grid with trips down the track. We'll keep going this way. And then down the back here is just another compartment, just a empty storage compartment there. You can put whatever I feel I need to put in there. But look, I've wanted one of these camper trailers for a long time. You know, I've got a mate of mine who's got one. Uh, he'd had, he's had his for well over 15, sort of 18 years. And, um, so I've seen his a lot, many trips I've been on with him and um, I've wanted one of these for a long time. So here we are, now I've got one. Let's keep going around the corner. Around here is just the drop down step, walk up into here. That's it all packed away in there, um, but I will show you the full setup uh, very shortly. But this is a great camper. Alright, oh. keep going around the corner here. And here, just a, another storage compartment. Again, I've got that empty at the moment until I sort out what I'm going to put in there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's just stacks of storage in here. Uh, then we go into this one here. That's just my gas bottle there, which uh, runs the fridge inside and also the stove. There is a full kitchen in here, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, so that's my gas bottle in there. Pretty simple. And then around here is the other access, the other gull wing door. And you know, as you see, there is just heaps of storage space in there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I'm taking away. There's not much more goes in there when I do go away on a trip, maybe a couple more items, but uh, that's pretty much about it. Just how I like it, keep it simple and lightweight is absolute key. Now I'll talk you through the full setup because this is the duck's nuts. So I'll just show you through some overlay shots from when I used this for three weeks over Christmas. Absolutely fantastic trip. Um, so to set this up, it's very easy. I can get this, I've got this down pat now. I can set this up in sort of under 10 minutes, full set up for what I need to go away for however many days I'm gonna base up for. So it's pretty simple. All you do is just open up these three clips here. There's one there, another one around the corner there and one at the back here. And then all that does is that lid, that whole lid flips over and then that forms the king size bed. <laughs> yep, there is a king size bed on that lid there. Once that flips over, slightly a bit bigger than my 85 centimetre wide swag that I've been sleeping for many years, which I still love my swag, but this is what I'll be using now for bigger trips. So that lid goes over and then it opens up into this. Then on the roof of the camper, I've got a full length tropical roof, which is you know, great for you know, those hot days for keeping the camper a bit cooler inside and then vice versa on those cold, colder days, keeps it a bit warmer. Uh, on the backs, over the back step here, I've got a short awning which comes out over the back step just to give me a bit of protection when I'm coming in and out, just in case, you know, it, it is raining. And then inside there's heaps of large open windows which I can drop all the canvas flaps down on inside and get plenty of ventilation and good light from inside the camper. 
And then over the nose cone, once the camper is fully set up, so once that lid comes over, there is a full length awning that goes right across here and the full length of the bed. Um, so the beauty of that is when it's pouring down rain, which it was a couple of days there when I was away over Christmas, I was still able to leave all the window flaps down inside because it certainly wasn't cold um, during that time of year, but it was great ventilation to you know, still be able to leave those flaps open even when it's pouring down with rain. Okay, so from the back here, as I showed you before, now I'll show you the full setup of this camper from the inside. So as I showed you, walk over those stairs, in that door there, and then in there, there's a full C-shaped lounge to, for me to sit at with a table. So, you know, when I'm away on trips, so I've now got somewhere to sit and do my editing. Uh, set my computer up, really great setup. And then on the, this wall here, there's a full kitchen. The kitchen has heaps of drawer space, so there's lots of storage space in there for, you know, my knives and forks, plates, and all those sort of things that I, when I take away. There's a two burner gas stove with griller underneath. Now, I will still cook, you know, still do all of my cooking, still outside on campfires where it permits. I'll even take away, you know, gas stove. Uh, they'll set that up here on a little table. Um, yeah, I can also use that too, but yeah, and that's just a great backup in, in there if I ever want to use the kitchen in case, you know, I get some really bad weather where I might just want to, you know, cook up a meal inside. But 99% of the time, I will still be cooking outside on my campfires, nothing much there is going to change. So inside there with, with the full gas stove, when I do pack that away, it creates a lot more bench space inside, right across the full width of the, of the kitchen in there. And there's a, you know, I've got a shelf that goes above, right above the kitchen top there, which is you know, really handy for, you know, for daily items that I might need to be using. And I can store those up in there, very easy to get into. And then down, down the bottom down there, I've got a, I think it's about 65 odd litre fridge. So it's a three way fridge, so it runs on gas, 240 volt, and also you know, I'm a 12 volt when I'm out there camping. And then behind that, that C-shaped lounge is that full king size bed that I mentioned before. Now, it is so comfortable. Um, it's a massive step up for me from what I'm used to with my 85 centimetre wide swag, but hey, it is amazing, it is so comfortable, and with all the uh, window flaps all unzipped, the airflow that runs through the whole camper, uh, it's just absolutely amazing when I'm inside in there. And then at the very end of the bed there is also a couple of bedside lights, you know, just in case you wanna see what's going on overnight or read a book or whatever. Uh, a couple of little handy lights there, LED, burn bugger all power, they work an absolute treat. And then now down here, uh, this is probably one of the major things that I have changed since filming that overlay video of all the full setup from that Christmas trip. I've now changed the, the stud pattern and the wheels. So this was five stud Toyota pattern on it. Um, so I've now got matching wheels, matching tires right through the car. So it's now been changed to a six stud uh, pattern here. So now I've got effectively two spare tires for either the camper or my vehicle when I go away on a trip. Uh, yeah, it's, if, you, if you can do that, get all your wheels and tyres all matching your vehicle, your tow vehicle, uh, and then you've got extra spares there if it's needed. Oh, no. This is going to be an absolute game changer for some of the longer trips that now I'm going to do later this year. Flinders Ranges is coming up in the uh, middle of the, this year, and this will certainly be well in tow. So there you go, guys. That's the walk around of my ultimate full off-road camera trailer. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you down the track with this, no doubt, in tow. Hooroo, catch you later on.